Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you're down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. So today's topic is all about the classes in Python. Because Julia is not an object to the programming language, so I cannot show you the any classes in Julia because Julia do not have any class. So that is the difference here. From this onwards, I'll be able to show you Python only because class is available in Python. So first, there's the first statement. And second is that class is a really intuitive thing. Like because of the class, that particular different different functionalities that exist in Python. Everything you see in the Python, all the things you are using in the Python is all about the objects or classes inside of a function. So I'm going to show you how you can create the classes in Python and how does it mean to you. That is the basis of this particular video. So let's further do, let's get started of today's video. So first of all, I'm going to show you what is the class is all about. Okay. It's a very interesting video. I hope you, you like it. That's it. So suppose everyone have a house, right? Everyone has a house. So house have two different things. One is the uh, characteristics of the house. Okay. Characteristics of the house. And another one would be the different different functionalities. Of the house, which is happening in the house. Okay. So we can see that in house characteristics means what is the color of the house what is the how many rooms rooms are there how many rooms are there uh, how many uh, doors are there so a lot of different characteristics basically so by which you can define a particular house. So the functionalities means, so if I just remove it, so if I just have, uh, write it like this, okay. So functionalities means uh, if, like, if a door will open, so what is the mechanism behind it to open that particular door? Like, is there somebody needs to be there to open that door? Or is there any kind of smart lock is there so through which you can just automatically open that door? Like, so smart one is all about. So the, basically the functions is all about like you're doing something in the house. Uh, there is a, there is a behind of such things which trigger that particular event to which that particular event is happening. That's the functions. Or, or you are going to do some sort of different kind of uh, events in that particular thing. So that's the called the functionalities of functions. Okay. But in, uh, so let's get started. Going to different things. Okay. So you can see that I'm going to write the same thing which I've talked about, that like the different different attributes of a particular house, different different functionalities of a particular house inside of a function. I'm going to create that function. So, so class is all about means. So first, tell about the class. Okay. You understand the house. You understand the house, right? You understand the house. So class means classes of house. For an example, I'm telling you. So there could be like, uh, so suppose, uh, uh, suppose you are referring class here, here like big houses, houses. So this is a big house is a whole class, okay. Inside of that particular big house, there are different, different houses are there. So there could be a blue big house, house there could be a white big house 
okay so there are different different big houses are there so all of them are belong to that particular group of big houses so that is a class is all about over here so class is basically mean a group of the people a group of the things which belongs to that uh, whole region or whole thing or something which is a class so for this particular example you can write it i have created a class called the house so here i have created a class called the house inside of the house i have defining different different characteristics of the house okay uh, like the big house i mentioned is all about so i have given instead of the big house i have given the class as house so house could be have the characteristics of color it could have the characteristics of how many rooms are there okay so it could be a functionality like how to open the door of the particular house that could be a one functionality if some certain conditions met then that house door is going to open otherwise the house door is not going to open so that's the house class is all about okay so how you are going to define that so first for a class declaration you have to use a class keyword then you have to use a camel placing uh, cam camel uh, casing is all about camel casing architecture like camel casing means uh, you have to use a house right then the next uh, word would be big how is big or something like this but in case of the functions you need to call it like this everything will be in small house underscore big okay so that's the difference so just uh, just just a small uh, talk is all about so i've given a particular class called house okay i have given a house then i am defining the characteristics of the house so for this how going to define it define df underscore underscore init underscore underscore you have to use the self self you have to use the color and the rooms that is what you use okay so self dual color so self here means basically self whenever you are using the class you have to use the self keyword over here self means the different different houses inside of that house class so there could be a uh, self means there could be a blue class blue house it could be one self another self would be white house okay so self means basically the houses you are defining using the class so in the whole class there could be different different houses like blue house white house black house whatever house you provide so the self means basically the blue house okay so so what is the color of the blue house that is what it will represent self dot color so blue house dot color it is going to be blue okay blue house dot color okay it is going to be blue okay so how many rooms are there if i write white house dot rooms it is going to be two so it is going to be like this it's just a characteristics of the house in this way you can write it and if the characteristics meets then the the house door is going to open so that is what i have given over so df open door it's a functionality of the house if the self dot color suppose for the white house it is going to be white so white house dot color is going to be white then it and if the number of rooms in this white house is two then you are going to open the door otherwise you are not going to open the door not a white house would not open the door so that is what you are providing here so that's the intuitive understanding of the class and i hope i am able to give you the intuition behind it so in this way you can create a class okay so so how does it mean so let me first show the output of it then you will be able to understand it so if i run this cell you can see that i have defined that particular house class and i have defined different different characteristics or attributes of that classes and also i have given the functionality or method of the uh, particular class i have given it like this 
So now I'm going to define that class. So house is a class. Inside of that class, there could be different different houses. So there I have given a name of the house is small house. Okay. Then I'm going to give the house. Then I'm going to define the characteristics of the house, which I mentioned over there. There could be colors and the rooms of the house, right? So I have given the color is a white and the room is equals to two. So you have to define a, a particular house like this, like a particular house inside of a house class. Okay, small house inside of the big house class. You are defining the characteristics of that particular small house. So that is what I have written here. Then I'm going to showcase like so it's a small house, right? So I have defined it. So if I want to see the characteristics of this house, if I dot if I give the dot over here, so it will show the characteristics. So color. That is what I have written here. So small house dot color. What is the color color of this particular house? So if I run it, it is going to give you the output white. Okay. What is the rooms of the house? Okay. Room. Okay, they said attributes. So it is going to be the two. So which is the outcome, which is I defined over there basically. So now I have also written this particular method or function instead of this class is an open door. If the self dot color, so small house dot color or small house dot room equals to equals to two, that means it is going to open the door, right? So if I just run this cell opening the door. So it is going to execute that particular function or particular method. So by the way, the method is nothing but the function. Whenever you use a function inside of a class, that is called the method. Okay, so suppose I change this white to blue. Okay, if I change this white to blue. Okay, so if I change it to blue, if I run it, so the house definition have changes. So small house now have the blue color and the number of rooms remains two. So if I run this cell, rooms two, and if I click like this, like color, then it is going to be blue, right? So because this particular method is all about if it is a white and if it is a two, only then it is going to open the door. Okay, so if I run this cell, it should not open the door. Not a white house would not open the door, right? So in this way, it is going to happen. So if I suppose if I want to change the definition of their particular functionality, if I write it like this, uh, if I do it blue, and again if I run it, so the definition have changed now. Okay, so again if I run this cell, if I run it, it should open the door opening the door because I have changed the definition of it. So I hope you like this video. You have the understanding of the class. If you have any questions and queries, please uh, let me know in the down in the comments below. I hope I'll happy to help you. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you soon in the ne next class video. Thank you.